Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're a Sunderland fan. And if you're a Sunderland fan, there's a really, really good chance that you are sick to death of waiting to find out who our head coach is going to be for the 2024-25 season. Believe me, I'm in exactly the same boat. It's been three months since we sacked Michael Beale. The reins were handed over to Mike Dodds for the third time. And to cut a long story short, we were worse under Dodds than we were under Beal. So, we need a new manager. We need a completely new start. We need to clear the decks and we need to start anew. However, there seems to be one big stumbling block in our hunt for our new manager. And that stumbling block seems to be Mike Dodds. Now, I just want to make something absolutely clear. This video is not an attack on Mike Dodds himself. He seems like a really good bloke, and I'm sure he is a good assistant. But what I do want to address are the rumours that Christian Speakman and the board are essentially forcing any prospective manager to take on the current backroom staff and work with them, the same as Michael Beale did. Fans have been saying this has been the case for, well, for months. But then Sky Sports reported a few days ago that the Will Still deal is off because Still, who does seem to like to tell the media what's going on, he does seem like a little bit of a gobshite, has concerns about investment and the backroom staff, which does seem to confirm that the club tried to make him work with Mike Dodds and Michael Proctor. Now, I have no inside information at all. I'm the same as everybody else. I'm the same as you watching it. I'm basing all my opinions on the reports in the media, on Facebook, the forums, the pretend are in the nose, etc, etc. But it does seem like a little bit of an open secret. The club simply will not budge on Mike Dodds. But the question is, why? Either Mike Dodds has a photo of Christian Speakman in a rather compromising scenario... Mike Dodds is the best head coach in world football and we cannot afford to lose him and all these managers that we're interviewing or speaking to don't see it and they're silly or, and this is the most common and likely theory, Speakman and Dodds, they're mates from Birmingham, they're still mates and Speakman doesn't want to sack his mate. Now I wouldn't want to see my mate lose his job either. But if you're a director of football at a football club, every decision you make has to be for the greater good of the football club. And the best thing that he can do for Sunderland is hire a manager and give the manager the best tools that they need to succeed. And every single football manager has their preferred backroom staff. It's the reason they bring their own backroom staff to a team. They need the people around them that they trust, that they know buy into their philosophy that as a team, they can instill that onto the players. Just look at Martin O'Neill when he came to Sunderland. He didn't have his trusty assistant manager. Um, off the top of my head, I think his name was John Robinson or Robertson. I can't remember. Without him, he was shit. Look at what he did at Celtic and Villa with him. He comes to Sunderland without him and he was a shadow of himself. Brian Clough had Peter Taylor for his best years. To get the best out of a head coach, you need to give them the backroom staff they want. I just find it a really strange hill to die on. If we've waited three months to hire Will Still, and then we've come to it, and we've let him walk away because we want him to work with Mike Dodds, that's really concerning. Now, of course, that might not be the case, but from the outside looking in, that's the impression that the fans are getting at the moment and the fans are really starting to get restless now. Every day I'm reading the boards, I'm reading the Facebook groups and people are starting to really, really get pissed off with this. And people are still upset about the Black Cat Spa debacle back in January. Seriously, if it's going to come down and I'm still, I'm still sure that come the start of the season, it's going to be either Paul Heckenbottom or Liam Rossinia in that dugout 
And if that's the way it's going to be, then fair enough. But for Christ's sake, if they want to bring their own backroom staff in, let them do it. Because then you will get the best version of Paul Heckingbottom or Liam Rossinia. Rant over. See you next time.